Hey everybody, um, it's been a while and I just want to give you guys um, an update in my greenhouse. Um, a lot of things have changed, but I'll just, I'll just start over here. Um, just give you an update on the buds and blooms that I have going on and sheaths and stuff. Here we have, I believe this is Cattleya Landate which is a cross between Leopoldii and Eclandii. Um, previously, it's given me two blooms, and I have um, four buds right now. So this winter in the greenhouse, I had a lot of problems with um, fungus and rot and insects. A lot of pests have attacked my collection. Anyways, I mention that because some of the pests have been boring into my buds and killing them. There's like these little caterpillars that have been getting in there. So I've been keeping very close eye on my um, buds. This is my uh, aristocrat. I think it's a cross between Digbiana and Glauca. It's been growing like crazy. Um, there's one, two, three, four growths that it put out last year. Um, and for the first time I have sheaths and there's nothing in the sheaths currently but that's a step in the right direction. This is BC Pritei, Pritei, one of my favorites. It had, it tried to bloom but something ate its blooms. Something ate this giant hole. There's been so many snails. I'm having a war with snails right now. Here is some more buds. I don't remember what this one is. It's a Sunset Valley Cross. Ooh, I'm not gonna be able to get that tag out. But it's probably, oh, LC Spring Fires by BLC Love Sound. I think this one bloomed last year. I think that's some snail poop right there. Um, something's going on with those buds. It looks like something chomped there. So I'm not, I'm not winning 100% yet. Here's one of my Rupiculus Lelias, all my Rupiculus crosses the hybrids that I got from um, Sunset Valley Orchids. They're all putting out these spikes. Uh oh. Okay, here's another example of the stuff that I'm dealing with. Do you see that web in there? Oh, is that a bug right there? Yeah. So this is what I'm dealing with. So there's like a web in there. I'm gonna have to spray this because that's the first sign of these bugs attacking. And that bug that just jumped. I don't know, if you guys have any ideas what these things are, leaving these webs and jumping around, please let me know. Anyway, so this one has two spikes. This is Flappa by Katskayana. I think this one has not bloomed for me before. Um, let's see what other buds. These nice growths on my LC Issy. There's more damage there. I think that's insect damage. It looks like it was chewed on. Um, probably snails. Oh, I have a bloom here. The stem had four buds. Two of the buds got eaten by whatever that web forming insect is. But this one bloomed. I mean, the flowers opened. It looks great. Let's see, what's the name of this one? It's another Sunset Valley Orchids um, cross. Let's see if I can get that name for you real quick. It is SLC Golden Trait Big Golden Treat Big Red by Self. I think I bought this one because it's one of the well, obviously it's pretty, but also it's one of the first crosses um, Fred Clark made. Something like that. Um, okay, let's go up here. Here's another Lupiculus that is in bud. Oh. Is that that might be attacked too. Might have to spray that one as well. Here is a, another Sunset Valley Orchids plant. This one was getting attacked. I already sprayed it. Oops. This is EPLC Magic Wand. So it's EPC Kyoguchi by LC Trick or Treat. And I don't think I've seen that one bloom before. I have some buds opening here. 
They look really damaged. I don't really know what happened to them. It might be cold damage. They just look kind of weird and cruddy. This one's upside down, I think. Oh no, it's gonna be sideways. It does look like it would be pretty if it wasn't all bruised up. Um, this one has some monster roots that are trying to find somewhere to go. Uh, the name of this one is... Um, George King by BLC Love Sound. I think George King actually has colors like this. Um, anyways, I'll update you when it's fully open. Uh, I didn't water my plants for most of the winter because of this moisture issue, but I just had a ton of new growths that were hanging out on the plants that died. I'll show you a couple examples. Um, they died because there's too much moisture. There's one, this is Green Veil Dressy. There's another example. Um, this is Ipanema Beach. I think moisture just got down into the little new forming leaves. It was just all over the place in my collection. It's kind of sad. Oh hey, here's a plant from Wade, from Wade's Orchids. This is Encyclia boricana, which is a lot of Bibractisans. And this little guy has a, is putting a spike out. See it there? Tiny little thing. Pretty excited about that. And this is the new growth from last year. It's pretty good. Kept getting bigger. So I'm very happy about that. Keeping a close eye on that so the stupid bugs don't eat it. Here's another Rupiculus Lelia. Um, unfortunately, here's a spike where the little thing of flowers was looking funny to me and I went over and looked at it. It fell off and inside the stem was a caterpillar. So that was great. This one still has, oh my god, that one has some suspicious webbing at the tip there. I'm gonna go spray these things after I finish filming. Um, it still has two spikes though on this plant. This plant next to it has one very tall spike. Um, oh, let me tell you the names. This one is Milleri by Katskayana. This one bloomed for me last year. I repotted it. This one's the Reciprocal Cross. Um, Katskayana by Milleri. I probably am saying that super wrong, so sorry. Oh, here's, oh no, disaster. I just did this, no. <laughs> Well, so I was going to show you that, you know, this bud was dying and this bud was cool, but I just knocked it off. This is BLC Miss Wonderful. It's a Lilia Anseps cross. That is so sad. Jeez. Where's Cobalt? I have seven beautiful buds. This is... A plant that bloomed for me last year, it's really awesome, orange. I had three buds last year, or three blooms, and I really like this one. It's BLC Fuchs Orange Nugget by LC Trick or Treat. It has a really cute ruffly lip, and I don't know, it's just a really cute plant. Here, another Rupiculus Lelia. Um, the spike is just coming out of the sheath. This one is Ang Angerarii by Milleri. I'll just show you. Sunset Valley Orchids. Uh, this one isn't bloomed for me before, so that's going to be exciting. It needs to be repotted. It's like pushing itself out of the pot. Here is um, Lelia grandis. It bloomed for me last year. It has a sheath in there, so I'm hoping it'll bloom again this year. And Cyclia brassavoli put out a spike, but then the bloom's all blasted. So that sucks. Behind it I have Encyclia cord cordigera, cordigera, and faithfully putting out a spike. This is a one I rebloomed last year. I'm pretty happy about that. Here's another. This is one of my Rupiculus lelia species. And Grarii. And Grarii. I don't know. 
but it's one that actually has a sheath that is full. So I think this is gonna be the first time I bloom a species, hopefully. Crossing my fingers, yeah, there's definitely something in there. This is another Rupiculus Lelia, a little one. This is Rupestri Rupestris, Rupestris. And it has a sheath. First time it's put out a sheath for me. This growth was much bigger than the previous growth, so I'm really hopeful about that. Um, new growth there, that's cool. That's Rukasana. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, that's it for the exciting buds and blooms, I think. Thanks for watching, you guys. Until next time.